And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Today is born, sweet Jesus the Lord, let us be glad, let us rejoice. Today is born, sweet Jesus the Lord, let us be glad, let us rejoice. Sweet Jesus is born, great joy does he bring, let trumpets sound and church bells ring. The gifts he brings this holy night are peace, hope, joy, and love's pure light. Quiet your heart and hear the Lord's name, sweet Jesus the Lord, this night he came. He came to be with us on earth, the heavens and earth rejoice his birth. Sweet Jesus is born, his birth was foretold, God's only son is to behold. On bended knee we come to adore, sweet baby Jesus, Christ the Lord. Love is the heart of Jesus the Lord. His birth opened up God's heavenly door. The joy and hope that sweet Jesus brings will live in the hearts of those who believe. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthem sweet. While shepherds watch our keeping This, this is Christ the King Whom shepherds guard and angels sing Haste, haste to bring him Lord The babe, the son of Mary So bring him in his gold and myrrh Come rich and poor to all the King of Kings salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone Him. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring Him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. The stars shone bright one silent night, when shepherds saw a brilliant light. They heard the angels sing their song, the Lord the Savior has been born. In swaddling clothes you'll find the babe, within a manger filled with hay. The angels sang, 
Spread the word, rejoice and sing, Christ is born, the King of kings. Spread the word, give thanks and praise, Christ is born this Christmas day. On hearing news that Christ was born, the shepherds traveled into town. They found the babe who was foretold, inside a stable to behold. They knelt and prayed before the child, and gazed in awe, and then they smiled. When angels sang, spread the word, rejoice and sing, Christ is born, the King of kings. Spread the word, give thanks and praise, Christ is born this Christmas day. Then Mary heard what they were told, that night by angels in the cold. They spoke of light and heaven's song, they spoke of searching for the one. Then Mary pondered all these things, her child was Lord, the King of kings. The angels sang, spread the word, rejoice and sing, Christ is born, the King of kings. Spread the word, give thanks and praise, Christ is born this Christmas day. Then they returned to watch their fields, their lives were changed, a message revealed. Go spread the word of all you've seen, that Christ is born, the Savior King. Go spread the word, give thanks and praise, go spread the love this Christmas day. The angels sing, spread the word, rejoice and sing, Christ is born, the King of Kings. Spread the word, give thanks and praise, Christ is born this Christmas day. Go spread the love this Christmas day. Suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Angels from the realms of glory, we your flight o'er all the earth. Ye who sang creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come. Shepherds in the fields abiding, watching o'er your flocks by night. God with man is now residing, yonder shines the infant light. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Saints before the altar bending, watching long in hope and fear. Suddenly the Lord descending in his temple shall appear. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them unto heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe laying in a manger.
One simple manger, two parents close by, three little lambs making soft searching cries, four weary feet on a donkey who brays, as one tiny baby dreams deep in the hay. Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, Bright as the star in the sky, Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, glory to God on high. One choir of angels, two shepherds bent knees, three royal gifts brought with love from the east. Four gentle hands soothe the baby who stirs, the one true Redeemer for all of the earth. Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, bright as the star in the sky. Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, glory to God. One crown of thorns, two nails in each hand. Three days till Jesus would rise once again. For neither death or the grave could contain the wonderful King who forever will reign. Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, bright as the star in the sky. Jesus, Jesus, little Lord Jesus, glory to God on high. We three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we travel so far. Fields and fountains, more and mountains, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plains. Gold I bring to crown him again, King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, peals through the earth and skies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came over and stood where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. When they come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary and his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have gone, and guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O oh, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. O oh, give us the light to light the way into the land of perfect day. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, 
shine on. O beautiful star, the hope of light, guiding the pilgrim through the night, over the mountain till the break of dawn. And into the light of perfect day, it will give out a lovely ray. O beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O beautiful star, o beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. O give us the light to light the way into the land of perfect day. O beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O beautiful star, the hope of rest, for the redeemed, the good and blessed, yonder in glory when the crown is won. For Jesus is now the star divine, brighter and brighter he will shine. O beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O beautiful star, beautiful star of Bethlehem. Shine upon us until the glory dawn. O oh, give us thy light to light the way into the land of perfect day. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Baby Jesus, child of love, born of Mary, child of God, born this night to bring us light, God with us, Emmanuel. Bells ring out, a child is born, angels sing out, Christ the Lord. All on earth rejoice his birth, a child of love, the promised one. Hope was born this silent night, dark no more, eternal light. He came to bring us saving grace, a child of love, the holy one. Word made flesh this holy night, living promise, Lord divine. Bringing peace, goodwill to men, a child of love, the chosen one. Born this night, this sacred night, Jesus Christ, the Lord most high came to save and show the way, a child of love, the Son of God. When they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all that heard wondered at those things which were told unto them by the shepherds. But Mary kept these things and pondered them in her heart. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm a storm with his hands? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels tried? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again, the lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know? That your baby boy will one day rule the nations. Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? That sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. The prophets announced Christ's birth, that he would one day come to earth. He was sent by the Father to pay a price, and he became the living sacrifice. God took a good look across the land, but sadly enough, he found a man. 
Not one was righteous that could die for sinful souls such as you and I. So God himself had a perfect plan, and because of his great love for man, God became flesh and came to earth to die for mankind to give us worth. Then sin debt was paid on the cross, so all could be saved and none lost. Satan is defeated in the story we tell, and Jesus became our Emmanuel. Now Christmas comes to one and all, to celebrate by those who answer the call. It's all about him, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came to offer us the gift of life. folks did an amazing job, didn't they? they? They've been working so hard, and I'm glad that they have made the choice uh, to participate. Parents, I'm glad that you made the choice to come out tonight. Grandparents, visitors, what a blessing uh, to be here to support these young people. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. And when we think about the Christmas season, it's all about choice, isn't it? Uh, it's all about decision. Uh, a lot of you have already made some decisions, right? You, you've bought those Christmas gifts. If you've bought a Christmas gift, would you raise your hand? There's a lot of ladies, fellas. We got seven days, okay? Seven days. We're going to have to make some decisions. But I want to talk to you just for a moment tonight. We, we saw in this play, in this presentation, we saw decision, didn't we? We saw these wise men. They decided to follow after that star. We saw those shepherds, they were wrangling those little sheep, right? But they made a decision to follow after Jesus Christ. We saw the angels. Do you know they had a decision to make as well? They, can, they could have been like those other angels from long ago that rebelled and, and fell away. But they made a decision, a conscious decision. And friend, tonight, the, the greatest hope that you and I could have is to make the decision to follow Jesus Christ. And I want to share with you just a, a simple passage of Scripture. You're going to say, Preacher, that's not theologically deep, and, and that's a good thing, right? I just want to share with you some truth tonight from a man who made a decision. He made a choice from the Word of God tonight. And if you're here this evening and you're lost, would you tune in just for a moment? I want you to hear the decision this man made that changed his life forever. And my prayer is tonight that if you're sitting here and you're lost, or you're watching tonight and you're lost, that you'll choose Jesus Christ. The book of Acts, chapter 16, familiar passage of scripture. We, we've heard this before, but boy, oh boy, what, what, a, what a promising thought that we see. Paul and Silas find themselves here in a prison cell for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We just saw his birth tonight. And they're preaching his truth. And they were cast into a prison cell. But oh boy, they didn't let that slow them down, not one bit. Here's what the word of God says in Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners, get this, heard them. 
They heard them praising God. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, and waking out of his sleep, seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had fled. And he say, preacher, boy, that's pretty drastic, isn't it? Here's this prisoner guard. He's going to take his life or the prisoners escaping. We've got to put ourselves into the context of that day. Listen, he would have given his life for losing those prisoners. So here he's on the verge of literally committing suicide. But notice what happens. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. They didn't run anywhere. Though they were in prison, they had every right to run if they'd have wanted to run. They stayed put. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said to, said to them, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? You know, that's the greatest question that man had ever asked in his life. It's the question that's going to be answered. That's going to give him the greatest answer he's ever received in his life. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. What a promise that we see from the word of God. You see, tonight I want to point out to the predicament. The predicament this man was in, listen, he was a lost man and he was in the most dreadful situation of his life, but he had heard a gospel witness. He had heard folks praising and praying and singing about this Jesus Christ that we've heard sung about and sang about tonight. And in that moment, he realized I'm missing out on something. There's something I need in my life. We see the predicament that he was in. And friend, this evening, if you're here and you're lost, You're in a predicament. The Bible tells us, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. That's every man, every woman, every little boy, every little girl that's sitting in here tonight. None of us are righteous. And there's a penalty for that. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, Jesus Christ isn't in a manger anymore. You see, he lived a perfect, sinless life. And he hung on a cross for you and I. He was buried and he rose again a third day. You know what the Bible says? But God commendeth his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What a blessing. What a blessing. So we see the predicament. But notice with me, if you will, and there's a promise in verse 31. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. What a promise tonight. You're here tonight and you're lost. You're looking for a promise. I I plead with you, would you make the right decision tonight? Would you trust Jesus? Don't put it off one more moment. Don't put it off one more. Listen, we're not guaranteed that we'll get together again next year for another Christmas play. Don't put it off. Trust Jesus Christ tonight. We see the predicament. We see, oh, that wonderful promise. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but hath everlasting life. My friends, the just for the unjust. He did it all for you and I. But notice here, this man that we've just read about, this jailer, this man of of character here in his own right, He made a proper decision. Notice what he did in verse 32. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and all that were in the house. And he took them that same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized. And he and all his straightway. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them and rejoiced. I tell you, when I read that passage of scripture, that always jumps off the page at me. Here's a man that went from the worst night of his life to the best night of his life in one hour. Friend, I'm here to tell you tonight, listen, I I don't know where you are in life, but I do know Jesus will make it better. Listen, Jesus will put you on the right path if you'll just choose him. Uh, So tonight, as we think about the season of decision, right, would you decide to trust Jesus Christ? Would you call on him tonight and ask him to come into your heart and save you? And listen, he'll change you forever, for eternity. 
What a blessing it is. Uh, again, I want to thank our children for taking time to share with us the birth of Jesus Christ. But don't leave out of here tonight if you're lost, lost. Listen, we, we saw a beautiful display of the love of Christ, of the birth of Christ. But friend, he wants you to be saved tonight. And you're here for a particular reason, right? It's, it's a divine appointment tonight. You're here because God wants you to be here. So friend, if you're lost, come to know Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to bow your heads just for a moment tonight. And I won't embarrass you. I won't, I won't call anyone out. We'd like to thank you for joining us today on our live stream service. We pray that you were encouraged, that you were blessed, and that you were challenged by God's word. If we can be of any assistance to you, please feel free to reach us at our email below. We pray that you have a wonderful day and God bless.